Let's translate Leviticus 19, 18. Lo tachom velo tator eth bene amecha v'ahavta l'reacha kamocha ani Adonai. You will not avenge and you will not keep a grudge against the sons of your people, but you will love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Let's take a look at the vocabulary. So, Nakam, its root is from Kom. In the cow, to avenge, but it's reflexive, so avenge oneself, and it's got the negative particle, lo. Thetor is from Natar. In the cow, it's to watch over, guard, but in this case, to control anger. Be slow to anger? No, these aren't correct. However, this one actually means to bear a grudge towards. Towards who? The sons of your people. Um, normally this is like your father's brother. Or it could be uh, your clan, your kin. But more broadly, Am um means people. It means people with an emphasis on connections of kin and religious or ceremonial. And so in this regard, it means fellow countrymen. To love here is in the perfect stem, not imperfect like the previous two verbs. Why is it in the perfect? Well, that's because in Hebrew, you can have imperfect, followed by a perfect, and you'll end up translating the perfect like an imperfect. In this case, these are vav, vav imperfects, followed by a vav perfect. This creates, an when the perfect is used, an apexegetical with imperfective meaning. What that means is, it represents the perfect here represents an imperfective situation. This is looking at Waltke O'Connor's grammar. Within a single event. So what it does is it's either signifying future consequence or imperfective aspect. And so what we're going to do here is translate it not as a, as a perfect, but as an imperfect. That means incomplete. It could be translated either presently or in the future. If you translate it with the future, it bears a sort of volitional force. That makes sense since this is a command. You will love instead of you have loved. You will love who or what? The answer is l'reacha. La here tells us the object of the affection. Okay, where is that love directed towards? It's directed towards the neighbor, rea. Normally, this means something along the lines of companion, lover, friend, darling. But in this context, in general, in legal literature, the prophets and wisdom. That's where we find it, right? Leviticus. This is legal literature. So it means neighbor. Neighbor. You will love your neighbor. Kamocha. This one's interesting. Kamo. Happens about 120 times. It's literally k plus mo. And it kind of takes the place of ma, which means what? 
So literally, Kamo is as what? Or, but we're going to simply translate it as like or as, just like K. And you can see the pronominal suffix here. Kamocha. As yourself. And then we have Ani Adonai, I am the Lord. There's no verb, it's implied. Ani meaning I. Adonai here being Yahweh, the tetragrammaton. I am the Lord. You will love your neighbor as yourself. Why? Because I said so. Because I am that I am. This is what I want. This is what I want. You will not avenge or keep a grudge against the sons of your people, but you will love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Otherwise, click on the links here for Greek and Hebrew lectures so you can learn or brush up on your biblical languages. And we'll see you next time.